guys and welcome. Today I wanted to talk about something I find very very important and something that in general I'm not taking that seriously in the reptile community. That is stress. How do I know if my snake has stress and how do I treat it? Stress unfortunately is common to find in snakes in captivity. Of course it varies. The snake can be a little bit stressed and it can be a lot stressed. It mostly happens because of two reasons. The first one being improper setup which means that your heat, your humidity, your hearts, all that kind of stuff is not in the proper way that it should be. That thing can cause stress. The second thing that can cause stress, too much handling. Meaning that you handle your snake too much, you take it out too much, you might be taking it out to bathe it, taking it outside. That can also be a source of stress. Of course there are other reasons for stress as well, but these, in my experience and in my opinion, are the two most common reasons for your snake to have stress. So let's take a look at some of these signs of stress. Inside the terrarium you might notice your snake being more aggressive, it might be hissing more, it might be striking for no reason and often you will also see them out searching like they're searching for something and not being able to find rest. You may also see the rattling of the tail like you saw with Queenie. That is also a small sign of, of stress. Of course as I said before the level of stress varies. These symptoms varies as well depending on how stressed your snake is. Of course the snake when you're feeding it can show signs of a little bit of stress because it's trying to eat and then it's just best to leave it alone. But stress can become very very serious which is why you really really need to keep an eye out for it. Outside the terrarium a stress sign can be that the snake is overactive. When you're handling and you can hardly keep your hands off it because the snake is just moving forward and forward and forward that can be a sign that your snake is stressed. Also when you're handling like you saw with Rasputin he was really like clutching my hand like way 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 more than what he needed to. That is also a sign of stress. In ball pythons a good sign of stress is them hiding the head. Also when you're having them out and handling them. Hiding their head they can do it both inside the terrarium and outside but that is also a good sign of stress. Also you will kind of feel them when you're holding them or handling them you will kind of feel the snake kind of puff itself up like it's trying to push you away with the body. Also a sign of stress. Of course these sign of stress do present themselves from time to time. I would say that's okay. As long as the general behavior of your snake does not include all of these different types types of signs, I would say that you are on the right track. It is so important to be aware of dressing your snake because that can result in some very very nasty things such as the feeding strike. I would say that stress is the number one reason for a feeding strike. Luckily there are some very simple ways of treating stress in your snake. The first thing you absolutely have to make sure is, is your setup on point. That means is your warmth correct? Is your humidity on point? Does it have the hearts it needs? All that kind of stuff. So you really 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 have to look at the terrarium asking yourself is everything as it should be can I do something better if you can then do that as you may know my golden girl she went into a feeding thrice and guys I can tell you now she was showing me signs of being severely stressed I did not caught up to the signs quick enough not as quick as I would have liked to of course and that's my mistake now that I know the signs I will catch them up much much quicker the next time but what she basically did was she was in a big terrarium it was open and she was constantly out searching. She was searching and searching and searching and being very active. An overactive ball python is not a good sign. A good rule of thumb is a hiding ball python is a healthy ball python. So what I basically did was that I looked at the terrarium and I said to myself this is not a proper setup. I took her out of that one, I put her in a smaller one and then I tried to mimic how she was in nature. Which means in nature ball python lives underground in small hollows so I tried to mimic that. Smaller terrarium made sure she had the heat, the humidity, everything she needed and I covered up the terrarium to mimic this dark environment that she usually lives in and that worked like a charm I left her alone for a week only checked on her once a day and she ate right away. So the best thing you can do when your snake is stressed is to number one check the environment, check the terrarium, check the setup. Is everything on point? Is everything as it should be? If your snake is showing severe signs of stress which means searching around, being more aggressive than usual, not eating, all of those are really really red flags that you really need to do something to treat the stress. If your snake is showing these signs you really have to do something, you really have to change the environment that your 
snake is living in. The second thing you can do, which I think is one of the most difficult things, is to leave it alone. Because when your snake is not feeling well, you really, really want to make sure that they are, which means you want to check on them and you want to have a look on them several times a day. But the best thing you can do when you've made sure that the setup is correct is leave it alone. Leave it completely alone. Your snake needs to de-stress and you need to leave it alone so that it can de-stress. Because every time you have a look in there, every time you touch it, every time you hold it, you're causing all these new stress signs to come up. It needs to de-stress. Think of it like as a spa for it. It really needs just to sit down, just to relax, you know, like have a mojito, all that kind of stuff. Just need to be left alone and chill. The good news is that when your snake has de-stress, when it's just showing these normal behaviors, then you can start to handle your snake again. Of course you can. I think that we should take a look at what normal behavior is. Normal behavior for almost any kind of snake is that it's being relaxed, it's being calm. So a healthy snake is one that's relaxing, it's drinking water, it's basking under the warmth. When you're feeding it, it eats right away. That's a healthy snake. So a rule of thumb is the more chill your snake is, the better it is. When it comes to handling, a relaxed snake is one who is not clutching your hand too much. It should be curious to the surroundings. You should see the tongue flickering. Of course, snakes, they do vary in their level of activity, which means that one snake you're having out handle might be more active than another one you're handling. That's completely normal. But as long as they're not being overly active, not searching, not clutching your hand too much, that should be a pretty, pretty calm snake. Let me show you what a, a stressed ball python look like during a handling and what a relaxed ball python looks like during a handling. All right, guys, this is Rowena. You've seen her before. She's my purple passion ball python and she is a very, very shy girl. This girl is very easily stressed, so she's pretty much just chilling in her terrarium every day. She eats, she poops, she sheds just like she should, like a normal ball python. So in that sense of the word, she's being healthy. As you can see now, she is getting out of her shell, but before she was, uh, did you see that? she curled up. This is a sign of stress. It's not the severe kind of stress, but it is the first sign showing that the snake is not that comfortable. <laughs> Although she did get back out again. When the snake is curled up, when the snake is being tense, that's a sign of stress. As you can see now, Rowena, she's doing so much better. She's out, she's searching, her tongue is flickering, which means that she wants to check out the surroundings. Also, she's not clutching my hand as much as she used to before, so she's really, really calming down. When you're handling your snakes, when you take them out, they can be a bit stressed in the beginning. They might be like this girl was all curled up and that kind of stuff. Usually, you just need to give them a little bit of time and they will be out. <laughs> looking around, checking around the surroundings. Like Rowena here, she's actually, she's doing so well. She's doing much better than I thought. Look at her out being curious, tongue is flickering. She's pretty, pretty calm. This is actually really, really good to see. This is great progress. She used to be a very shy girl. She's doing so well now, guys. This is a really good example of a snake that was stressed in the beginning and then is not stressed anymore, if you can say it like that. Look at how calm she is. Also, she is holding on to my hand, but she's not clutching, not like Rasputin was. Very active, very calm snake. I'm really sorry guys, I can't show you a really stressed snake. I guess that's kind of good, but it is also kind of bad because I really like to show you things. All right, so Rowena, she's doing so well. Let's put her bag in. Thank you, Rowena. One of the other signs of a snake being stressed when you're handling them is that they are searching like they're moving around like too much. But I also said that some snakes are just a little bit more active than others. This can go for especially younger snakes like Queenie as well. Queenie is not stressed, nor is this. Boa, this is Marble, she's my female super ivory ghost, but you can see there is a bit more of activity in these guys than, let's say, the ball python. So usually some, some snakes just have a higher level of activity without being stressed. A really good sign to look for to distinguish when they're just being very active and when they're being stressed is that their body won't be as relaxed. Marble here, she's pretty relaxed, as you can see. She's pretty relaxed, but she's also active. And active and stressed snakes will not be relaxed in the body. It will be very, very tense and it will try to reach as far away as it possibly can to try to get away. The last thing I want to talk about and what I think is the most important thing when it comes to stress is how to prevent it. I have said it a thousand of times, I can't say it enough and I'm going to say it again. That's research, research, research. Before getting your animal, do some research. Make sure you have everything the snakes needs in the terrarium. Make sure the setup is correct, the warmth, 
the humidity? Does it have water in the bowl? Does it have height? All that kind of stuff. So research is really your number one weapon against a stressed snake. Stress really needs to be taken seriously, guys, because it is a killer. When the snake is showing the first signs of stress and that is not taken care of, it will just evolve and the stress will get worse and worse and worse and worse. And when the snake is just being super stressed, it will react to that stress and that can be something like a feeding strike. And feeding strikes untreated, they do kill. The best thing you can do when the snake is showing sign of stress is to treat the cause, not the symptom. All of this might sound very scary and I'm not trying to, to portray snakes as being like these gentle little creatures made of porcelain and they get stressed for no reason at all, they don't do that. Snakes usually are pretty hardy and pretty forgiving when it comes to setup. As you have seen some of my setups here, the snakes don't have a lot. They have newspaper, they have hides, and they have water dish, and that's pretty much it. But that's what the snake needs, and as long as that is on point, all the extra stuff, you know, all the plastic plants and all the other things that we as a human being likes to look at because we think it looks nice, that comes second. The first thing you really have to make sure that the snake has what it needs. When it has that, the snake I promise you will be well functioning it will eat it will poop it will shed and it will tolerate being handled all right guys that's all for today a quick video on stress <laughs> I really do hope you got something out of it and I really do hope that you enjoyed it if you have any comments or questions just put them right down below in the comment section please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make it really does mean a lot to me and also while you're at it just hit subscribe on that channel also remember that we now have a Facebook group for everyone to join the link is also right down below we are already getting a lot of new members and everybody is sharing i really love seeing what you guys are doing in there you can find me on instagram under the name justice jungle thank you guys for now and bye bye